Hello and welcome to the introductory lesson of the Android Applications Development course for beginners offered by Simply Learn. In this lesson, you will get an overview of the course Why Android? With the highest market share, Android is the dominant mobile operating system today. It's running on countless models of smartphones, tablets, and other devices. What's even more important is the fact that the whole Android ecosystem underwent many improvements. We got new gadgets like smartwatches, new software like Gradle, Android Studio and Android's new operating system, which is the 6.0 Marshmallow. There are several advantages. Let me tell you the key advantages in learning to develop applications for Android. Firstly, market share. Android absolutely dominated the number of smartphones shipped worldwide in the first three months of 2015 with 78% market share. Android Studio is an IDE designed and developed specifically for Android app development. It is blazingly fast and efficient and you can set up a new Android project for different types of Android apps within seconds. Also, applications deployed to the Google Play Store are available for download by users within a few hours compared to a few weeks for Apple's App Store. Android developers are more because of high number of users in Android operating system. Many companies are investing huge money on Android application development. That is where open access and open source principles have shown their true potentials. What is this course all about? This course is a collection of resources that cover tools and principles for designing and building Android apps. It also includes many advanced topics like material design, maps, location services, using sensors and app distribution. After completion of the course, you will be able to create apps according to your imagination. Interesting facts about this Android app development course. Android was first designed for cameras. Later, it was implemented for mobile phones. When compared with other operating systems, the Android operating system has been updated an incredible number of times, resulting in a web-based service, which is remarkably different than the original version of this mobile operating system. It has unlocked a number of new parts. Android Studio is now the default integrated development environment, IDE in short, supported by Google to develop Android applications. We will learn how to install the Android SDK and Android Studio, which provide an essential environment to build an Android application and fundamentals like activities, fragments, and UI controls to name a few. Android architecture has four layers. Each layer has its own set of libraries, and we will be talking in brief on each layer. We will also clarify the dynamics to understand the core libraries and talk more about the Android operating system for app development. We will explore the building blocks of Android application like activity, services, content providers, broadcast receiver, and intents. We will go through the best practices, do's and don'ts while developing Android application to publish on your Play Store. How did Android application development evolve? Smartphones have revolutionized the way we create and consume information. Today, people can barely recall life before mobile apps nowadays. Smartphones have changed our lives and how? From checking the weather the minute you wake up to finding a recipe for pot roast, from getting a doctor on demand to playing a game while waiting for the bus, apps have become a way of life. Be it a washing machine or a quadcopter, Android has become integral to everyday living in more ways than you can count. Over 1 billion Android devices have been activated and ruling the smartphone market is Android, who enjoys an 85% market share. Need we say more? Establishing the need of the application's development. Most people like to use Android technology in their smartphones because of its obvious advantages. With its unbelievable popularity, developers will certainly want to get into Android application development to a greater extent and get the best from the booming app industry. In case you're new to this field and want to know how you can be a part of this app revolution, 
then this is the course for creating a winning app. I will share a few of the key advantages of Android application development. The biggest advantage of Android is that it is an open source integrated software platform. It decreases the developmental phase and offers simple to apply development tools. Android has encouraged innovation among the developers to come up with new applications to help sustain in a highly competitive market. Its association with Google has made it powerful with Google Maps and Google Voice apps. In today's business context, with Android available as an open platform, customization has become far less expensive than other platforms. Market Trends and Predictions for Android Apps Google's Android has grown immensely from October 2003 when Ruben, Miner, Sears and White started Android Inc. in California. The popularity of Android did not come about in a day. Android developers braved buggy IDEs, OS fragmentation, slow emulators and boring user interface to what it is today. Linux-based, open-source Android has boosted the fast-growing smartphone market world over. It released the first version on the HTC Dreamphone in 2008. It took several iterations over the years to get it to what it is today. In the last couple of years, the Android ecosystem has seen many improvements in terms of new software, hardware and operating system. What next asks Google, the developers, the makers of devices? Now that the operating system is stable, where do we go from here? Android, which was started with smartphones, is now in smart watches, TVs and cars. It has proven that it can be run on every gadget, which has a small microprocessor. As the trend continues, the number of apps available in the Google Play Store crossed 1.6 million as per July 2015 stats, which clearly shows its market penetration. What is the objective of this course for Android Applications Development course for beginners? This course is intended for people who want to create native applications on Android. It is necessary that you have a good understanding of Java before getting started on this path. If you don't know Java, please consider taking this introductory Java Essentials course from Simply Learn. Here is the course breakdown. You have 10 lessons. Lesson 1 will be an introduction to Android development in which you will learn how to set up the environment and understand the architecture of Android. Lesson 2 is more about Android user interfaces, activities and controls. You will be able to use controls, add validation and a few basic programming skills to develop an Android user interface. Lesson 3 is all about the layouts and controls. How you order the layouts, Android Canvas and how you use Android Studio to create a layout and control. Lesson 4 will take you through Android List View and SQLite, have to fetch data and then put it across to List View and have to obtain the data from List View and put it on Escalate. Lesson 5 is all about services. Services are those which run in the background. If you have a task which takes a lot of time, the best practice is to do it in the background or UI. At the end of this lesson, you will learn to manage and effectively use the services. Lesson 6 talks about content providers. Content providers are a set of methods or a set of classes of a small library which Android offers. A content source can be a database, your RSS readers or even your web service. Lesson 7 is on user interface here. The user interface will use fragments. You will learn how to build a time picker user interface which can work on both mobile applications and tablets. Lesson 8 is about location and sensors. This lesson will be on how to get location on your mobile phone and understand all the different sensors you have on the Android phone to make the best use of these sensors. Lesson 9 is all the fun stuff about multimedia. Here, you will learn how to record a video, audio and how to use the camera to take a picture or to record a video. We will go through a small multimedia demo and explain the fundamentals of how to build an application for Android multimedia applications. 
Lesson 10 will introduce you to Google Play. You will know what it is all about and get to know the checklist required for your application to be hosted on Google Play. You will have lots of demos. Most of them will be simple. Some of them will be travel world demos. This concludes the course introduction. The next lesson is Introduction to Android Development. Wishing you all the best for this course. Happy learning!